everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five fun things to do with washi tape. You can get it on Amazon. I got this set of washi tape on Amazon for only about $16. Now, I think I might link it down below. If it's not linked down below, I will definitely put the name of it and like I said, I got it on Amazon. Make sure to stay to the end of the video because I will be giving out two shout outs. Now let's get started. First one, I have this pencil and it's green and I don't really like it. Your opinion might be different, but it's just not my favorite. So I'm going to be using these two washi tapes. You can get your two favorites. Well, these aren't necessarily my two favorites, just I thought they would go well together. And I'm going to put this purple one and then the pink one and then the purple one and then the pink one in a little pattern. Now I'm going to fast forward doing all the washi tape decorating it because it will definitely take me a long time to finish this. And I also, I might have to do maybe two layers of it because I'm not really sure how thin these are because I haven't done it on a green surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. a pretty long time but I don't know how well this will stick and stay um especially after a long time of use so by the way this is a me mechanical pencil you probably noticed but I kind of forgot to say that but I'm going to put some clear tape over it to make sure it stays and I'm also going to fast forward that I finished doing it and it I did go over this little thing but um, it did work, and I used packing tape. If you don't have packing tape, you can just use normal tape. It would take a little longer, but it's still good. And it did kind of make the design less vibrant, kind of. I mean, you kind of see the difference. But it still looks really cool, and I'm definitely going to use this a lot. Now it's time for thing with washi tape number two. Next one, you're going to need a pencil. I'm using the one I just decorated. Some washi tape, some scissors, and some paper. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward this, but I'm going to draw a picture, and then I'm going to fill it in with washi tape. Let's get started. The pencil and this combined took me a very long time. So this is a very good thing to do whenever you have plenty of time and you're bored. So I'm just gonna go ahead and erase the pencil line. Just erasing the lines. And this is the finish thing. Um, I really like it, I think it's really cute. It's definitely like not like a normal rainbow, but I really like it. So now it's time for number three. This is the next one. This is what it's gonna look like. Well, it won't look exactly like this because I'm not using the same tape, but I'm using, and it's gonna be a magnet. I'm using the stick-on magnet stuff, some scissors, and some paper, and of course, washi tape. Let's get started. see I just for the extra tape you can just cut it off or you can just fold it back like I did I really like this one a lot better than this one I think it's just because I might like this tape better than that one and this tape is bigger and this piece of paper I didn't really cut out straight so for this part 
I'm going to cut off this piece because this piece is not big enough. And I had already bent it back. So I'm going to cut about this long of magnet and put that magnet up there. And I'm going to take the sticky stuff off and place it in the middle of the paper. And it might bend a little, but it's still really good. So you can put this like on your fridge or in your locker or whenever you wanna put it on. So now it's time for number four. So for this next one, you're going to need a small piece of paper. It's gonna be a label, by the way. A pen, I'm using this pink sparkly one and your favorite washi tape. So I'm doing a label that says paint brushes because that's what I need a label for. So I'm just going to go ahead and write paint brushes. And I'm going to take the washi tape I can find the end or the beginning and put a little right there and then to make it stick I'm going to put some around the edges so there's some like that there's some like that you can rip this or you can um cut it, but I you basically do both. So, and then it's ready to go. If I can get it up, let's see. You, I think I should have done this holding it. Yep, I should have done this holding it. All right, it's coming up. All right, so I'm, there it is. And then you're just ready to stick it on your little jar or thing. And not least, I'm going to fill this easel with washi tape. It's a mini easel. And I'm going to find some of my favorites and I'm going to cut it or rip it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward that. I have done this magnet, this label, this pencil, this rainbow, and I didn't cover the whole thing and washi tape just because I still liked how it looked. But um, this is how, these are the end things. So now it is time for my two shout outs. My first shout out goes to 10 Stars Property. Thank you so much for commenting on the discussion page and liking my videos. Thank you so much for your support. It means a lot. Second and last shout out, it goes to JMMC. Thank you so much for commenting on the discussion page and hashtag, hashtagging Emma Lou. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to head over to the discussion page and comment which thing, washi tape thing, was your favorite. I also will be picking two more shout outs for the next week's video or next video on the discussion page. So make sure to comment there. Also, please subscribe to my channel and stay safe. Bye.